Here are the containers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have one, two, three, four, five of them, but I could fill a lot of sandwiches in two. What I'm gonna do is start off making some peanut butter and jelly, and then I'm going to be making ham and roast beef. So I got two wheat breads and one white. These are all PB&Js that I'm gonna do. And right now, Boston is loving peanut butter and jelly. That's all he wants. I give him ham and he's like, eh. So he'll do peanut butter and jelly or homemade Lunchables. Uh, if you'd like to see my homemade Lunchable vlog, click on the link. Now, with the amount of bread that's in this package, I can get nine sandwiches out of one loaf. Let's see. So this is like a half of, not even half of a week of bread of sandwiches for Boston. So I'm doing like two and a half weeks of sandwiches right here. I absolutely love freezing sandwiches because I'm trying to create more time for myself. Like right now I'm trying to wake up early at 5 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. so I can get another hour um, on my day. And so I can get up and start my morning routine. It's hard. It's so hard. If I freeze the sandwiches, that saves me some time in the morning uh, be, to be doing other things. The, and like the other day when I did the freezer mails video below, that freezes up time for me. Time, my time is just getting taken away. And it's life, right? So how can I create more time for myself? Well, by doing these things. And uh, they'll give me more time during the day. A little tip for you when you're doing the peanut butter and jelly. Put peanut butter on both sides of the bread. That way it'll seal in the jelly and it won't get your bread all soggy. Because the peanut butter has those oils and stuff in it. So that kind of like puts a barrier on the bread. And if your kids don't like crust, you can make like a little Uncrustables. Cut a circle if you want and make some edges with a fork and make an Uncrustable for your kids and take the crust off. That's always a fun treat. See the laptop? <laughs> Watching the show while I do this, it just passes the time away. Okay, so this is just some homemade plum jelly that I made over the summer. Um, my kids love strawberry jelly as well. I'm hoping to make some strawberry jelly this year. So just put it on one side of the bread and now your sandwich won't get soggy having both peanut butter on both sides. These turn out great. They taste fine coming out. Depending on your bread, the crusts might be a little bit hard, but that's okay, just cut that off. But this just saves me so much time in the morning. And then the kids can grab their own lunches in the morning. My kids do anyway, but at least they don't have to take everything out and make a sandwich. This could be so fast for them. Here we go, I got six sandwiches already made. I like cutting them in half. Um, I notice it just helps them thaw out quicker. The peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are fine if you don't cut them, but um, I noticed that with the ham sandwiches, definitely helps to cut them so they thaw out quicker. I have learned that one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna bag these up and then get them in the container, you guys. Now I'm working on the ham sandwiches, not ham and cheese. My kids go through phases where they love cheese, they eat a ton of it, they want it in their sandwiches. Right now, they're not going through a cheese phase. So I am not adding cheeses to this at all. What I do for ham sandwiches is I don't put the mayo or the Miracle Whip, <laughs> we love Miracle Whip, I don't put it on the bread because it does get soggy. I don't know why there are oils in it, but I noticed for us, it makes a bigger difference to put the uh, mayo and mustard in the middle of the sandwich. So that is my tip when it comes to the ham and cheese sandwiches. And I promise it makes a huge difference. Now with these, definitely cut them down the middle. I don't know why, but it just thaws them out faster. I noticed this. The kids have noticed this. They said, yes, my sandwich was definitely ready for me this time um, when it was cut in half. But they get cut a little differently. Shaylee's sandwiches don't have mustard in them. She doesn't like mustard at all. To know which sandwiches are hers is hers are cut in triangles. They're cut diagonally. That way I know that there's no mustard in that and that is Shaylee's frozen sandwich. So, little tip for you if you're like, how will we know which ones are what? Cut them differently. 
So I'm starting this first batch off as Shaylee sandwiches. So I'm not even going to put any mustard and fold these up and cut them on a diagonal for her and she's good to go. And then I'm gonna start on the other sandwiches with mustard in them. And I'm also gonna add some roast beef in with these sandwiches. Jonah loves ro roast beef and so does Callie. Shaylee, eh, not such a fan. And I used to love eating triangle sandwiches. I don't know why, when my mom would cut my sandwiches into triangles, I used to get so giddy, I absolutely loved it. I don't know why, I just did. I'm done. I have PB and J's here, um, ham and cheese and roast beef with mustard, and then Shaley's that has no mustard, cut on a diagonal so we know. So we are set for sandwiches for about two weeks. Every two weeks I try to do this, you guys, and it does save a ton of time. So I'm glad this is done. So I'm gonna go get this down in the freezer. Okay, here's the freezer. I have all three containers in, ready to get frozen. Here's all our chicken from Zaycon that I did in the other day's video. And here I have um, the other freezer and here's all our freezer meals that I did the other day if you're wondering. Um, there is a lot going on in this freezer. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, while I was down there I pulled out a freezer meal for tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a very busy day and having something in the crock pot will be perfect. This is the Pesto Ranch chicken and this is the Classico one. Everyone raved about the Classico pesto first. This will thaw out in the fridge, but I'm gonna let it sit here. I'm gonna put it on a plate, let it sit here for a little bit until I need to leave to go get the kids, and I'll put it in the fridge, and this is what we're gonna have tomorrow. I should have taken it out, uh, taken it out this morning, but oh well. It'll be thawed out in time to put in the crock pot tomorrow. I know that not everyone has freezers and fridges like I do, so if you wanna freeze, some sandwiches maybe do at least a week's worth if you have room in your upright freezer or whatever freezer that you have so just do what you have room to do and just that little bit saves a lot of time in the mornings or the night before when you're trying to pack lunches I love having the extra sandwiches on hand too so like on the weekends if we're out and about and we know we're gonna be on the road for a little bit and we want to pack a lunch that we already have sandwiches that we could do that with so it comes in super handy 